Howdy y'all, Dale here from Old Southern Kitchen and Garden, and today we are going to be doing another tomato tasting. Today we are doing a tomato tasting on the green zebra tomatoes. Y'all, look how beautiful that tomato is. That is a unique, cool looking tomato. So, let's get to it. Okay, y'all, so we're back. Uh, as I said, today we are doing a harvest and taste on the green zebra tomato. And these things, y'all, are just so cool. Thank you. So, before we get to tasting, let me give you a little description of the <clears throat> green zebra tomato. It says, beautiful chartreuse with deep lime green stripes, very attractive. Flesh is bright green and very rich tasting, sweet with a sharp bite to it, just too good to describe. A favorite tomato of many high-class chefs. How funny, we don't have our chef here for this today. Uh, specialty markets and home gardens. Yield is excellent, the most striking tomato in our catalog, a real beauty. These were from uh, Baker Creek, Rare Seeds. And I just want to show you, like, because I've shown you now several times, the outside. Let's show you what the inside looks like. Hopefully y'all can see that. <laughs> okay, now this is a tomato that we did grow last year. So, uh, I don't remember my... Uh, taste or review of it last year so i guess this is where we could uh if i did a tasting on it last year we could compare this tasting to that one and see if either my taste changed or one was a better year than the other so as always i'm going to taste first with straight out the garden no salt and pepper Looks cool. Let's see. It tastes, you know, okay, pretty normal tasting for a uh, just tomato by itself. I know that may not sound like a great glowing review, but it really is a good tomato. So let's now taste the part of salt and pepper. As always, you know what I'm going to say. The one with salt and pepper on it, I did enjoy more. I did like that one better. And this is how you know when I'm doing a tomato tasting, if I actually really liked it, if I'm going back and eating a second piece of the tomato for you, I liked it. That's what I'm doing. So, so yes, uh, y'all, I would definitely give this one a thumbs up. That's probably why we grew it again this year after growing it last year because we enjoyed it last year. And so, uh, again, I just can't pass showing up this coloring to y'all. And if you've never had a green zebra tomato, I suggest you get me some green zebra tomatoes. And I do stand corrected. My green zebra tomato came from in my gardener, which is where most of my seeds came from. This description I got was Baker Creek's description. And so, y'all go grow you a green zebra tomato, grow you lots of them like I have here, and I will talk at you on the next video. Thank y'all as always. Please like, subscribe, and share, and see you next time.